Good morning, everyone. It's your senior warden again. I'm so glad to be able to speak to you and say good morning, even though we can't do it face to face. Anyway, just a few quick announcements. Of course, we will be continuing our in-person Saturday Eucharist at 5 p.m. Um, as we can do it, we so far so good, we still can, can beat. And then, of course, Compline on Wednesday evenings at 7 online. And then also I want to um, convey that uh, I guess we are celebrating the feast of Father Gregorio Oglopi, one of our patrons in, uh, in our cycle of uh, saints and, and holy people. And also just to be able to say good morning. So thank you very much. A very good morning to all of you and welcome to Church of the Good Shepherd in Wailuku, Maui this morning where we honor Gregorio Aglipai, uh, for whom the Iglesia Filipina Independiente was named uh, in the early 1900s after the Spanish-American War. Uh, I would like to let you know um, that this stole uh, is predominantly red, but it does have patches of green in it, and so I wore it uh, this morning uh, because it comes from the same region from which Gregorio Aglipai hailed, and it was a gift to me by my friend Imelda Santos on Guam. Also, I'm very, very proud to be wearing a Barong Tagalog this morning. This was given to me by Dean Gloria Maria McPandal from St. Andrew's Theological Seminary in Quezon City in Metro Manila in the Philippines after I did a retreat with her students there last year. Uh, we do have a number of people who are helping with this morning's service. Of course, we have Ferdinand and Carissa Kahigal who have put together some very, very special music for you this morning. Also, our readers are Mark Sitz, who will be doing the Old Testament reading in English. Uh, Nana Maggie Evangelista, who will be reading the Psalm in Ilocano. Uh, Eugenia Sitz, who will be doing the uh, second lesson in Ilocano. And the Reverend Jar Pasalo, uh, who was raised up from this church, who will be reading the gospel for us this morning. Also doing the prayers we have uh, Senator Gil Keith Agaron. Our responder this morning, as always, is Tony Paul. And once again, we thank the technical team here at uh, Good Shepherd for uh, their efforts this morning, Pacifico Evangelista, uh, David Bataluyan, and Andrew Yaging. And then to uh, ring the bells uh, this morning, we have Gil uh, Agaron and Alfredo Evangelista, who went out to Biniat Hani and got permission to ring the centennial bell 12 times uh, to begin our service this morning. And then of course, at the end of the service, we have a very, very special tribute uh, to the culture of this church. And we have the youth of Good Shepherd uh, doing the tinikling to send us out with joy. Oh, uh -huh. 
Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and, and peace, peace to, to his, his people, people on earth. earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Eternal God, you called Gregorio Aglipai to witness your truth in the renewal of your church in the Philippines. Help us, like him, to be guided by your Holy Spirit, that people everywhere may hear the saving words of our Savior, so that all may believe and find eternal life through the same Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. And now to do our first reading, we have Mark Sitz. A reading from the first book of Chronicles. All this in writing at the Lord's direction, he made clear to me the plan of all the works. David said further to his son Solomon, be strong and of good courage and act. Do not be afraid or dismayed for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you or forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. Here are the divisions of the priests and the Levites for all the service of the house of God and with you in all the work will be every volunteer who has skills for any kind of service. Also, the officers and all the people will be wholly at your command. King David said to the whole assembly, My son Solomon, whom alone God has chosen, is young and inexperienced, and the work is great. For the temple will not be for mortals, but for the Lord God. So I have provided for the house of my God, so far as I was able, the gold for things of gold, the silver for things of silver, and the bronze for things of bronze, the iron for things of iron, and wood for the healing for the things of wood, besides great quantities of onyx and stones for setting, antimony, colored stones, all sorts of precious stones, and marble in abundance. The word of the Lord. Thank you very much for your reading, Mark. And now we have a special treat, and we call on Nana Maggie Evangelista to do the psalm for us in Ilocano this morning. The Salmo Namabasa, Salmo 126. 
Itimpulang ni Jehova, dagi jay nagsugli jay sayon, arig tayo la, idi iti agtag taga inet. Idin, dagi tingyong iwat tayo, napuno tikat katawa, kat dagi tidildila tayo, iti panagkan kanta. Idi akasta, kinuna dagi tinasyon, ni Jehova, inaramid na dagi tidadakyal abanbanag, kadakwara. Ni Jehova inaramid na dagi ti dadakkel laban banag amay paay kada tayo gapuna agragsak tayo Ipanaw mo kumamanen ti panakakayaw mi o Jehova akas kadagi ti karkarayan ti abagatan dagi ti agmula kadagi ti lulwa agapit danto iti ragsak ti mapan nga agsangsangit nga agawit Tibin i ti imula na awan duadwa nga agawit tu asira nagsak nga ikuyog na dagiti binatak na. Thank you very much, Auntie Maggie. And now to read the second reading in Ilocano, I'd like to call upon Eugenia Sitz. Timabasa na adaw iti umuna asurat ni Pedro. Ngayon titungpal dagiti isuami na ba nag-asidegan Agparbeng kay nga rod, ken agsalukag kayo iti kararag. Kaya't nang nangruna, kimo amin na da kumakada kayo metlaeng, tinasged nga ayat, dati ayat, abungan na digiti aduuna ya paspaso. Nga agpipinagdagos kayo, nga awan tanta na butob. Tunggal may sakas iti sagot, nga inawat na, Tumulong kuma kadagiti sa Bali, kas na imbag ang mapagtalkan kadagiti adua kita, ti parabor ti Diyos. No, siya sino man nga agsao, agsao kuma kas kadagiti sasao ti Diyos. No, ti may sa agserbi kas kuma ti panakabalin nga inted ti Diyos. Tap no ti Diyos, madaydayo kuma kadagiti iso amin na bambanag. Kapugin ni Heso Kristo, iso ang makinkwa, Ti da yag ti panagturay iti agnanayon nga awan inggana. Amen. Daito iti sao ti apo. For the sequence hymn this morning, we will be uh, offering the Sakada song, and we invite you to join along from home, and afterwards we have the special gift of having Father Jar Pasalo reading the gospel for us. <laughs>
Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. For the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for the usual daily wage, he sent them to his vineyard. When he went out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You also go into the vineyard, and I will pay you whatever is right. So they went. When he went out again about noon and about three o'clock, he did the same. About five o'clock he went out and found others standing around, and he said to them, Why are you standing here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You also go into the vineyard. When evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his manager, Call the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and then going to the first. When those hired about five o'clock came, each of them received the usual daily wage. Now when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received the usual daily wage. And when they received it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last worked only one hour, and they made them equal to us, who have borne the burden of the day and scorching heat. But I replied to them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Do you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give the last the same as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or are you envious because I am generous? So the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. It's wonderful to be here on this special Sunday when we honor the life and legacy of Gregorio Aglipay. Uh, I, I do remember hearing his name as a child, or rather seeing his name as a child when we would drive by the Episcopal Church in my hometown of Agate and the southern end of Guam. And I would always see St. Andrews by the Philippine Sea Episcopal Church, and then next to that, in parentheses, it had the name Aglipayan. Uh, and I thought that that was the Visayan way of saying Episcopalian. You know, in my mind, they sounded a bit alike. It wasn't until many, many years later uh, that I realized that Aglipayan was uh, someone who followed Aglipay, and that that was an actual person. Uh, in the, in the years that have ensued, of course, I've learned a lot about Gregoria Aglipay, and I really appreciate what a maverick he was for his time, and how he fought against the powers, especially the colonial Spanish powers who occupied the Philippines during the time that he was a Roman Catholic priest. Uh, he was also a fighter and allied himself with the Katipunan uh, during, during their rebellion. And he uh, was really, really fighting so that the, the leadership of the church looked like the church itself, which was, of course, uh, composed of many, many people of Philippine origin uh, in, in a country where most of the clergy were Spaniards. And he, he really wanted to do something about that and was advocating for the ordination of Filipino priests, uh, much to the chagrin of those who were in power at the time. And as a result, uh, he, we all know that he broke away from the Roman Church and formed the Philippine Independent Church or the Iglesia Filipina Independiente. Uh, it eventually became its Obispo Maximo. Uh, I, I would also like to note that Gregorio Aglipay was somebody who had integrity. Uh, there, there was a point where uh, he was tempted to go back into the Roman Church and uh, was offered many, many, many uh, trappings that he ultimately decided to refuse because he felt that that would be uh, not germane to his cause of uh, of creating an independent church that looked more like the people that it was supposed to be serving. So I, I really do admire him for that. And he, he 
because of that integrity, cut the ties from the Roman Catholic Church in the Philippines at that time. The, the key word being cut. I really think that that's uh, an, an interesting way to look at this story. Uh, you know, one who cut back home in the Philippines and those who cut uh, in the fields here in Hawaii. And they, um, you know, that was, that was very, very backbreaking, physically, physically intensive labor. Um, and perhaps they were, the, the cicadas who came to Hawaii were uh, inspired perhaps by Gregorio Agapai in the way that he cut uh, unhealthy ties back home. Uh, many people who have come to Hawaii as cicadas were from the province of Ilocos Norte in northern Luzon. Uh, Gregorio Aglipai was also from Ilocos Norte. And so for many people here in Hawaii, he is their kababayan, or their compatriot. And uh, maybe, maybe uh, that, that spirit, that fighting spirit and hardworking spirit help people uh, who came to Hawaii as cicadas to transcend uh, lives on the plantation and again to cut, uh, to cut that tie uh, to make what ultimately became very, very good lives here for many people. And they have, many people who came from the Philippines to Hawaii have integrated themselves into the lifeblood of these Hawaiian islands and have become church leaders and business executives, lawyers, teachers, uh, politicians. And we've even had a governor of Hawaii who is uh, of Filipino extraction. And so that, that really is a wonderful thing. Uh, I, I recently shared um, some photos and a video that uh, we prepared for this morning's service with one of you. Uh, you're, you're about to see that video as soon as I get done yakking, but uh, his, his comment to me was, uh, I look into the eyes of the cicadas in the photographs and I, I wonder what they were thinking uh, as they worked in those fields. Uh, were they thinking about the lives they left behind? Were they thinking about the hardships they're currently enduring? Uh, were they thinking about uh, the future for their children and grandchildren? And it, it also makes me wonder as I look into the eyes of Gregorio Aglipai, uh, evidently or obviously the eyes of a very old soul, uh, what, what he was thinking at the time uh, that he was with the Katipunan and fighting against the Spanish, uh, what he was thinking as he courageously decided to break uh, unhealthy ties as he moved forward into the future, and I wonder if he could have foreseen uh, what would become of his efforts. And it makes me kind of wonder myself as, uh, as we look into our own eyes and to one another's eyes, uh, what kind of things we are seeing for our futures, especially our futures as a church. Uh, my, my, my hope is that we will blend in with the spirit of Gregorio Aglipai and continue to be courageous and forthright and to act with integrity uh, as disciples of Jesus who are inspired by uh, those who have gone before, people like Gregorio Aglipai and people like the cicadas who came to these islands to build better lives for themselves and also ultimately to make better lives for us because of the contributions that they have made to their lives here. And I, I really do have to say that I think that uh, that, that kind of inspiration and legacy, whether it's from Gregorio Aglipai, whether it's from the Cicadas, uh, whether it's from the youth that we see in our midst or anybody who walks through our doors, uh, that, that it all blends together and becomes the soul of what we call Good Shepherd Episcopal Church in Wailuku, Maui. And it's a wonderful thing for which I am very grateful, uh, especially since I knelt 
on the floor of this church 15 years ago and was ordained to the priesthood right in the spot where this picture actually is. So it's, it's a wonderful thing. And, uh, and I would like to say um, that uh, to, to the cicadas, it's uh, because of you that I'm here today. I would like to say to uh, Gregorio Aglipai that it's because of you that I'm here today. And uh, bearing in mind that the way that uh, I was taught, um, I, I don't know Ilocano very well, but I did learn quite a bit of Tagalog when I was a small boy in Guam. And I was uh, taught that uh, the way you say because of you is dahil sayo, because of you, dahil sayo. So with that, uh, Ferdinand, Carissa, and I would like to take you on a visual and musical journey uh, from the life of Gregorio Aglipai and through the lives of these cicadas to today, bearing in mind that we are all here uh, because of you, dahil sayo. <laughs> Yeah. 
And please join me in affirming our faith by reciting with me the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. And now to lead us in our prayers this morning, we call upon Senator Gil Keith Agaron. I ask your prayers for God's people throughout the world. Pray for the Anglican Church of Southern Africa and the Most Reverend Thabo Makoba. We pray for our retired clergy, the Reverend Charles and Shirley Cannon, the Reverend Canon Franklin and Norma Chun, the Reverend George and Susan Clifford, the Reverend John and Carol Connell, the Reverend Canon David and Joanne Kuhn, for Michael, our presiding bishop, Robert, our bishop, Mulkey, our priest, for this gathering and for all ministers and people. Pray for the church. I ask your prayers for peace, for goodwill among nations, and for the well-being of all people. Pray for justice and peace. I ask your prayers for the poor, the sick, the hungry, the oppressed, and those in prison. Pray for those in any need or trouble. I ask your prayers for all who seek God or a deeper knowledge of him. Pray that they may find and be found by him. I ask your prayers for the departed. Pray for those who have died. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored, especially Kaswiani, Eli Naud, Soren Kierkegaard, Nikolai Grundig, Constance and her companions, Alexander Crummel, Harry Thacker Burley, and John Henry Obert, whom we remember today. Pray that we may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. Amen. And let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most, Most merciful, merciful God, God we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you 
in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God, and of God's Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Amen. And now, as a special treat to close us out, before we say thanks be to God, uh, we have the tinkling dancers for you uh, so that we can all celebrate and be joyous as we honor Gregorio Aglipai this morning. Enjoy, everyone. <laughs> Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Agyamanta iti Diyos. Agyamanta yu iti Diyos. Agyamanta yu iti Diyos. Agyamanta yu iti Apo Diyos. Agyaman kami iti Apo nga na Marswa. Agyamanta yu iti Diyos. Agyamanta yu iti Diyos. Agyamanta yu iti Diyos.